Hey, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to the show today. And Happy New Year to everybody. Well, I've been putting it off long enough. I think I gotta fire up the 1100 and take my three-legged truck and drag it in the barn and get something done here. Well guys, the first thing I'm going to do here is get this back up on all fours. As you saw, I mean, yeah, I can move it around, but boy, it'd be a lot easier if I could just jump in and put it in drive or reverse and move it on its own power. So that's what I'm going to start with. I was able to round up a new tire and wheel from my local scrapyard, a couple ball joints and an axle shaft and tie rod end and I guess the hard part's done. Someone already pulled the wheel off for me, so all I gotta do is just put the new parts on and put it back on. Half the work's already done. That's optimistic thinking at its best right there. Let's get to it.
All right, guys, look at there. We're back on all fours. And you know what? Don't drive down the road too doggone bad either. So, hey, I'll take that. It's going to make for a pretty good wood hauler. It makes me sad. This was a nice truck. I mean, don't mind any of this. That plastic part covered it all up, and it was fine. The hard part of the project is done. Now, all i got to do is take all this smashed baloney off of here, replace it with the unsmashed baloney, get a little paint on it, and uh, should be good to go. Should be good as new. Now, you might be asking yourself why I would take the time to fix this old piece of junk. And, uh, well, that's, that's simple enough. With good scrapyard support, I am going to have less than 500 bucks into this entire project. That includes used tire and wheel. I put new ball joints and tire rod on it and all that good stuff. But all the rest of this stuff is, this, this is like, a, let's just say there's, there's, there's no lack of these trucks. There's a zillion of them out on the roads. And uh, junkyard's got a lot of them. So I suppose without further ado, um, let's get this project in gear. It's supposed to be kind of warm tomorrow. Might be a good day to paint if I can get a fender and a hood on here. We'll see. All right, now for the fun part, this assembly. I think I'm just going to start right in this region and work my way back, hanging mostly to the left. Here we go. Get some heat in here. Guys, well now we're at a very, we got the hard work done, well most of it. Now comes the fool around and find out part. So what I like to do when I get into a situation such as this, now my, my core support took a little smack so it's never going to be perfect. But if I can make it perfect enough to get these bolts in, the ones in the back are going to be fine. If I can get these ones to line up and bolt the fender on, then this truck's going to be as good as I ever needed for it to be. Now remember, guys, it's, we're, we're not trying to reinvent the wheel here. This is a, well, exactly right now, it's a 20-year-old it's a, it's a pickup truck. A lot of guys might ask why I even take the time to redo it. Well, I like this truck. 
And for the 500 bucks, I'm going to have into restoring it, or restoring it, huh? <laughs> Not quite. For the 500 bucks, I'm going to have into making it drivable again. And, and for what the fine people at my insurance company are going to give me back, um, one, I can't replace this truck for 500 bucks. Two, I really can't replace this truck for what they're going to give me for it. So why not just throw a few bucks at this one and, hey, why, what, what do I have to lose? I, got, I don't have to go to the Secretary of State and change titles. I don't have to pay taxes. I hope the government wasn't listening. Nevertheless, that's why I'm fixing up this truck. I just, it's what I do, guys. It's what I do. So I guess for now, I'll, like I say, the hard part is just going to be getting this fender lined up on here. Everything else is easy. The frame's not bent, so I can bolt the bumper back on. I can put the grill on. I can put the headlight bezel and the headlight back on. I can get the hood on, get some paint on this truck, and uh, no one will ever know it was hit so far, unless they see the white paint and whatever else. But, eh, again, old truck. Who gives a turkey? So, here we go. Time to fool around and find out. The big thing is, is I don't know how much I'm going to have to fool around to find out what it is I need to find out here. So I'm going to give it my best shot. I think I've got to get this thing out of the road. Get me. Actually. It's not far off. I got a bolt hole here, and I've got to move that. I got to pull this forward about uh, about two inches. The top bolt isn't far off at all. I can actually just pull it and get the top bolt in. All the rest of the bolts aren't too far off, so all I got to do is figure out how to pull that out about two inches and. See who's up there? Goofy ass cat. She'll figure it out. Don't worry about her. All right, so I'm just gonna give this core support a gentle tug to move it back the inch it's gotta move back where all my bolt holes will align and she'll be good as new. Or at least I'd like to think so. Guys, I think we, there's bull holes. We're right where we need to be. That's better. All right, guys, here's my plan. Here's what's gonna happen next. So I got the fender on. Uh, it will bolt up now and I can kind of straighten it up and get everything mocked up. I want to put the bumper, the grill, the headlights, put the whole thing together, put the hood on it, make sure everything works, get it good and mocked up. Then I'm going to pull that black piece off and take the hood back off because I, well, <laughs> problem is, is I'm not tall. I mean, I guess I could paint the hood with it on the truck, but it's easier when you don't. And then uh, we'll be good as new. I think I said that already once today.
all right, friends, I think we're at the point now where uh, I'm going to go ahead and get some sealer on this. we got to keep everything on a budget here. Now, with that being said, I did know when to play a couple of cards right. The paint that goes on this truck. Remember about a year ago, I did a video of me painting a guy's monster truck. One of the stipulations of me painting that truck was he wanted it red, and it had to be the exact same color as my truck, just in case something were to, you know, say go wrong with my truck, I'd have paint left over. So, saved a whole bunch of money, because if you've ever priced red paint, that stuff is not cheap. But I got a whole bunch of it for free, so let me get this sealed. I'll get some paint on this thing, and we'll uh, see if it looks uh, presentable. Well, friends, there you have it. She's good for another 100K now. Now, I went back through my list of expenses. I did go over budget. I was up to 500 and, oh, jeez. I was up to a full $508 on this repair. So, could I have replaced this truck for $508? Absolutely not. So, I think we did the right thing here. Anyway, that's going to do it for me today, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.